Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Doom Patrol, Season 1, Episode 13, The Flex Patrol. Flex Patrol, Flex Patrol, be there on the double. Anyway, I, you know, I was thinking about getting some, like, socks, like, roll them up and put them in here, and like, boom, and my guns are big enough to begin with. I remember when he when he sat forward in that chair towards the mid-end of the episode, had the, you know, the rip pecs and all that. I remember back in the day when I never had that. I mean, <laughs> that dude was buff. <laughs> That dude was like, what's up? The beach is that way. And I'm like, yes. Yes, it is. And the Rolling Rock Mountains are right there. <laughs> like, that dude was freaking huge, man. Um, what do you call it? Like, literally, like, bodybuilder huge where everything's perfect. I remember when I was a kid and I used to, you know, seriously uh, want to be, like, a, a bodybuilder or something like that. I remember um, reading up on Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, reading the things that he would write down and things like this before, you know, videos became... There was no YouTube back then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This was, this was back in the day when you had address books in your back pocket or you just get this memorized phone numbers. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? The days before beepers. Most of you guys are like, what's a beeper? It's the predecessor to the cell phone. Yeah, our walls, our our, uh, our phones were stuck in the walls with wires, okay? Um, <laughs> but I remember like having to read, you know, magazine articles. Magazines are these things. They look kind of like comic books. Go to a bookstore bookstores are these places where they have books <laughs> we're advancing so much but um what do you call it yeah i remember reading about how he's talking about you know if i want to build my chest up and a half inch bigger then everything else has to build up a half inch bigger also everything has to be in proportion and this dude like i'm looking at this dude he looked good this guy looked straight serious like a real bodybuilder i don't know who he is i don't know the actor i don't know any of that stuff i you know it doesn't interest me enough right now although you know he, he might wind up being a really cool core member of the team uh i'm pretty sure that flex mentalo debuted the exact same time that uh danny the street debuted so i used to have that issue yeah then i went to the Middle East. It happens. It happens. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? Maybe one of these days I'll get it again. Who knows? But I used to follow Danny the Street. Uh, I never really followed Flex Mentallo uh, that much. But apparently, you know, I know a lot of people are like, you know, he's a beloved character and whatnot. I was thinking about doing, because um, I knew that this episode was going to be called Flex Patrol. So clearly uh, the time to do a, a Flex Mentallo, you know, 10 Things About video would have been, you know, to debut now with this video, but I didn't. Sorry, guys. Uh, I just, I don't know enough about him. It'll literally just be me looking up on Wikipedia, which is the exact same thing you could do anyway. So, um, no, no special fun facts that only, you know, obstinate, steadfast readers will know about. Nah. As far as this episode, have I ever mentioned that this is like the best show on TV? I don't know if I ever mentioned that before. Um, clearly, I mention that every freaking time, and for very good reason. Um, man, uh, you know, go and check out the 10 Things About Larry Trainer, um, uh, Negative Man, you know, and stuff like that. You, you got, uh, um, he's only able to stay out of his body for a minute. The, the, his spirit form is only able to stay out for about a minute. And here, as it turns out, he's able to stay out for like more than in excess of five, uh, f yeah, five hours, which is like, hmm? <laughs> that almost doesn't seem like a limitation, but he will die without him inside of him. I like that. You know, I dug that they, uh, they did that because they really have enhanced his powers a lot in this regard, you know, being able to tap into the synapses. They were talking about going into the underground. That's how they got into, uh, Crazy Jane's underground and whatnot. Um... Yeah, man, this was, this was interesting. This was a really cool episode. It explained a lot. I got to see Flex Mentallo and now I want to read him. <laughs> so, uh, I think, uh, what do you call it? this? This Tuesday when I go to the comic book store, it's going to be about time to look up some, um, uh, uh, Doom Patrol trade paperbacks that have Flex Mentallo in it. I'm sure that's exactly what DC wanted out of this. Plus, there's going to be a new, uh, I think this July, there's going to be a new Doom Patrol comic book coming out from the um, Young Animals line, the that imprint of DC. Uh, so, cool, man. More, more Doom Patrol coming out. That's very excellent. Plus, this is May, June, July. So, in the final, no, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. This is the final month of Doom Patrol because there's only two more episodes. Oh, my God. The next uh, episode is called Penultimate Patrol, which penultimate is, a, is, is one of the words I keep in my vocabulary. It means second to last. Um, 
yeah. So that's oh, bitter effing sweet man. I want to cry. Best show on TV. Like the only, only, only good part about this series ending is that hopefully it'll come to Netflix, much like uh, Titans came to Netflix. If that's the case, then I can watch this out in my living room instead of on my computer. I can watch this out in my living room with my wife because she's got to see this because she's not about to come in here and sit down on my computer or whatnot, even if she wanted to. F that. This is my domicile. Back off, man. Man cave, mother fat head. If you ain't worthy to lift that, you ain't worthy to watch anything in my... You know, just don't, don't even be in my presence in here. No. 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 This is a gift to me. <laughs> so I'm more than happy to watch that with her. But, you know, and I will absolutely watch this again. Make no mistake. I will binge the hell out of this. I will watch this again. The rewatchability on this show. I promise you, man. Just boom. Top notch. Wait a second. There's still a little bit of room there, isn't there? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, about there. Maybe a little bit higher. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, and all the sweet merch. <laughs> what's up with, the uh, what's his face? Freaking Mr. Nobody with all the sweet Doom Patrol merch. I want some of it. It just simply says Doom Patrol on it and I want it. Well, if that's going to be it. I think, honestly, what I need to do, I need to consider getting myself a leather jacket and putting uh, Gabba Gabba Yo on the front of the, <laughs> you know, saying on the front of the, a regular old t-shirt and just walk around like that. See who gets it. I just want to see who gets it. Um, that's it's for anybody who doesn't get it. That's it's um, what do you call it? Robot man. <laughs> just saying. Um, ah, dude, <laughs> this show's gonna end. Looks like they're going back to Danny the Street next issue, though. So that's cool. Um, next issue. This feels like a comic book, man. That's what it feels like. This feels like a comic book. Uh, DC does need to put out some. Um, some Doom Patrol merchandise, though, man. I'm just saying, like, if the if the time to strike isn't right now, if the if the, if the iron isn't hot right now, I don't know when it's gonna be. Um, whatever, dude. You got to put out something. That's real talk, man. Um, you know what? If you wanted, though, just saying for the sake of conversation, you can go to Beautiful Halo and check out all of their sweet, sweet merch. Lots of Marvel and DC stuff, huh? Huh? Maybe you want a nice Nightwing shirt or something like that. I'm just saying. Um, but go and check that out. My link below. And uh, what do you call it? I uh, you get a steeper discount, and I get a cut of that steeper discount. So yeah, you save money, I make money, they're making money, everybody's you know, and you get some sweet sweet merch, and you know we're all happy. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't do plugs very well, do I? Um, what do you call it? But real love, man. How about the channel? So um, uh, what do you call it? Flex Mentallo in the ant farm. I'd like to have seen how they slowly, we I don't know, but like, here, you know, I, I like to try and find something to complain about so I can try and show some kind of fairness there, right? In my headcanon right now, when they pulled out the boob tube, I love they called the boob tube, when they called, pulled out the idiot box, all right, the, the TV, the little freaking rabbit ears on there, I'm surprised there wasn't some aluminum foil. <laughs> I remember those days, man. I remember the, the freaking knob falling off. You got to get the, the, the pair of pliers and reach in there. And k k k that's how you change the channel because there weren't no remote controls, man. There weren't no remote controls. There weren't mouses on our computers. What the hell was a computer? <laughs> I'm laughing about being old. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's, uh, what do you call I'm, I'm imagining in my own head cannon, he's sitting there watching and waiting, you know, next week, uh, I got to see what they're going to do to my wife. Next week, I got to see if she's okay. Next week, I got to see if she's still here on this earth, man. And he just got so used to it that I guess the TV shows themselves kind of became like commercials for him. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that you're watching until the, the thing that you want to watch comes back on. And pretty soon that didn't come on again, so he just started watching commercial TV for himself. It was actually just soap operas and whatever the hell was on TV. That's the th that is the thing about TV. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why I don't own a TV. I own a TV, but I don't have cable coming in there. I don't have any, you know, thing coming in there. Just the Netflix and the Prime and and then uh, you know this. But um, you know, on my computer, um, DC Universe uh, streaming app. But, you know, like, it, it, there's always something on. That's what I say about, you know, sports games and whatever. It's like, dude, it's all the same game. They're just they're just playing different. They're, they're the same rules, same everything. It's just 
How are they going to play by the rules to get in there this time? You know, they're always going to be another game. There's always going to be something that straps you in. And like, this was, this was like a, a very subtle PSA, um, about, uh, the idea that, you know, watching the TV like this, man, like Flex Mentalo, somehow, like he, he's the man of uh, muscle mystery. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he never, he never lost his buffness sitting there eating ice cream and chocolate syrup, <laughs> all that stuff, man. Yo, I eat that stuff like my heart races. I I I, I ate that stuff like uh, a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that. Whatever, a while ago, and uh, I, I had a nightmare that I was racing on a road, and like the gas pedal was was stuck to the floor. Like that's a scary dream, man. <laughs> I had to veer off the road just to wake up. <laughs> but um, what do you call it? Yeah, dude, no, not cool. Like you know, you, you get that dad bod and all that stuff, and Flex doesn't have that dad bod. The way that um, that uh, Dolly, what was her name? Uh, Dolores was her real name. That's so cool. What do you call it? It's sad the way that she died. Like, she got Thanosed out, man. You know what I'm saying? That was just like a <laughs> bye. Um, that sucked. <laughs> Flex, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Peter, I mean Dolores. <laughs> you remember that Seinfeld episode? Oh, yeah, my name rhymed. You know, uh, they used to make fun of my name. Uh, they used to call me a name that reminds, uh, that sounds like my, they called her Dolores Clitoris. I can't re re reprise that freaking episode of uh, Seinfeld. But, um, what have you now? They, um, yeah, when she, like, that was sad when she died. It's like, dude, no, not cool, man. Just snapped away like that. They've been watching too much uh, Infinity Wars and Endgame <laughs> with this show, man. Like, we could do that, too. Um... <laughs> Mr. Stark? Oh my god! I got him here. I got his figure here. Mr. Stark! <laughs> um, uh, but, um, yeah, that, that was cool. Like, he, he, he recognized her. He didn't age, but she did age. You know what I'm saying? And, and I love the way they tied it in. That she was that chick who went up to um, uh, Victor. Went up to Victor Stone, talking about Cyborg. Just look at my elbow. <laughs> I look at jail before, man. That's that's weird, dude. That's really weird. Um, yeah, this just another good episode. Whatever, whatever. You guys know because you watch the episode, right? If there's no other reason to su subscribe to to sign up for the DC streaming app, which hopefully they're going to make available all over the world, so I can watch it on my TV, that would be nice. That would be nice then um, by all means, please, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Check out the show. Definitely check out the show. Spread this the, the message. Spread this love around, man. Spread the love of this show around because we want there to be a season two. Am I wrong? Am I right? Uh, looking forward to Swamp Thing also. Looking forward to everything they got coming up. I'm even kind of looking forward to season two of uh, Titans. Hopefully they're going to tighten it up and whatnot. Um, I know the writers are back in the room, in the screen room already. Like it's already written. They're already, uh, doing some directing and whatnot, uh, again. Um, uh, what do you call it? The, the pre-production stuff they're doing right now. So it's happening. It's happening. So the DC streaming app as it stands, isn't going anywhere right now. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, comic book university, class dismissed.